Today is my final day in Mexico. I've had a great time, enjoyed a lot of great food, met some awesome people, fished some world famous lakes. But the one thing I have yet to do is catch a single fish out of this pond. So originally I thought that fishing out of here was going to be a breeze. You know, it's a private pond, it's stocked. But what I found out over the past four days, there have been at least 10 people who fish it every single day. And the only things I've seen come out of here was one small bass, one catfish, and one tilapia. I mean, I fished here for three hours using a wacky rig Senko. Didn't even land one fish. So uh, I'm going to try something a little different to catch fish today. Ah! What's going on back here? I'm trying to film. What are you doing, man? Dude, get off my shoe. What the? Goose, please. Ow, you my foot. Leave me alone. Go, shoo, shoo. Go, get out of here. <laughs> so anyways, what I'm gonna be using today to try to get one of these fish to bite is this box right here, Catch Go. So as you guys know, I'm sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box and they just came out with this uh, brand new product, the Catch Go Box. It's uh, basically a box full of baits that you can choose yourself. You don't need a subscription. Um, you know exactly, dude, this duck again. Look at this. All right, ow, my toe, ow, ow, leave me alone. All right, all right, let me try to do this. <laughs> it's, it's all good, man. The Catch Go Box. Like I said, you don't need a subscription. It starts at $19. And they have a wide variety of boxes you can choose from. You can have a uh, JDM box full of Japanese lure, <laughs> Japanese baits. You can have, um, uh, let's see, <laughs> there's, there's literally like 20 boxes. I'm trying to think of them off the top of my head. Uh, oh, my toe! Ow! Dude, the duck is all over me. <laughs> all right. Uh, you can have, um, there's, a, there's a, a northern box. There's a multi-species box. I mean, there's a whole variety of boxes. So this box right here, this is the Finesse Essentials box. I'm thinking that's going to be perfect for uh, fishing this pond because the fishing is near impossible. Let's see what we've got in here. We've got Biospawn Finesse Worms, Zoom Swamp Crawlers, Z-Man Finesse TRDs, Drop Shot Weights, VMC Half Moon Jig Heads for that Ned Rig, and finally we have some uh, Wacky Hooks. Use that for uh, drop shotting. Let's try to let's try to catch some fish for once. All right, I need to pick out a bait to put on my drop shot rig. I'm gonna do one of these. Hmm, which one do you think I should go with? Yeah. This one. All right, let's go with this. I like it. Bright color, maybe stand out a little bit in this uh, green water. I'm gonna shorten this worm a little bit before I put it on, just to increase my chances of catching something because it's so difficult sometimes out here. Like that should be good. Quarter ounce drop shot weight. Time to get fishing. All right. Watch out because sometimes it like stays there. They stay there? They get stuck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the fish like to hide sometimes too though. They're over there. Over where? Oh, by the water? Oh, On the yeah. little tree. They are. On the little tree there are fishes. Oh, I got a hit. I got a bite. I'm getting, I got, I, oh no, he got stuck. No, he got stuck. I had a fish show, first cast. With the drop shot. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. I'll pull it in. Dang, I had fish on it. Dude, that's a good sign. It took me like two hours to even get a bite last. Oh, there's. I was good. I got a bite in there. Ooh, on the swamp crawler. Man, where are these bass at? I put this thing next to each piece of cover, shook it there for like 30 seconds and to a minute. Had that one bite, that was it. Let's try near the fountain. Good depth, about four to five feet by the fountain. That's got to be the deepest area of this uh, whole pond. So we got Roger out here joining us. Roger, when is the last time you caught a fish out of here? Three months. Three months ago? Yeah, three months. It's a lot of time. When's the, when's the last time you fished in here? Uh, I think last week. Last week? Yeah, so I you, think so. So it's just really hard? Yeah, it's really hard. The problem here is that they feed the animals all the week, so it's very oh, really hard to gotcha. catch something. Hey, well, we'll see if we can uh, get yeah. something happening today. I'm trying this lure. I don't know who did it, what it is, but... So I'm taking off this crankbait he has on. I'm gonna hook Roger up. Let's take that. You don't need that. Not yet. I'm hooking up. I'm hooking Roger up for better bait. We're gonna hook him up with the finesse TRD right here. Thanks to Mike for letting me use some of his special stuff. 
give you a much better chance for sure. Oh yeah. All right, there you go. Let's see if you can get one fish. You haven't had one in three months, but yeah. today will be the day. Oh, I got a bite. I got a bite. I got a bite. No, it got, got off. First bite, second bite an hour. Come back, come back. Ah, oh, dang, man. I don't know how to get these fish to bite. I'm just dropping this drop shot in all the places I normally would. Under the docks, shade lines, banks, fountains, running water, structure. Everything's right in here. The only thing that isn't is uh, fish. Man, one fish. I just want one fish. It is hard to fish in here, man. Real hard. Oh, I got a bite. I got one. I got one. It's a big one. Oh, oh. What is this? It's tilapia. Tilapia. Let's go. I got a fish. Dude, look how big that thing is. Is that teeth? Does it have teeth? I think it is. Teeth? Okay, okay, I'm touching it like this. Dude, look at how big that thing is. Teeth? Like you think? Yeah. Dude, look at look at this fish. Yeah, Good to go. Alright, let's let this guy go. Woo! I did it! Got one fish. Ooh, good stuff, good Ready? stuff. Ooh, that felt good guys. That's I've been fishing this pond for four hours, nothing. First fish, my personal best tilapia on the swamp crawl, a drop shot. You're doing big things. Big things, man. This is way better than that seven pounder I caught. <laughs> Plasma tail, drop shot. Let's get another one. Yeah, I had a big one. I have a fish, I have a fish. Fish on, fish on. That's 10 minutes after. Got a bass, I got a little bass. I'll take it. Wait, what is this? Little guy? We'll take it on the plasma tail. What do you think? It's cool. Cool? Oh, sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> I let him go. <laughs> Woo! Um, you know, things that the feet or the legs yeah. are ducks. He's so dumb. Yeah, he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Duck, get on my face. Get out. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Scare him. Scare him? Get on my face. Yeah, that's my foot. Dude, he bite, he just bite my foot. Ah! Oh wait, no. I... Alright. Final bait in the cash code box. The finesse TRD. Hey. Don't look at me. Finesse TRD. Let's get him. Food? Alright guys. I'm about to go eat some food real quick. Let's take a quick intermission. Then uh, we'll get back at it. What do we got to eat today here? Oh, something, something delicious. Something, look at that. Yeah. Look at this. Ooh. That looks aw dude, that's awesome, man. Always. And the fresh tortillas, homemade. Oh, oh, ribs. Yeah, ribs. oh ribs. Those Ooh. are real tortillas. Here's lunch. Ribs. Carne asada tacos with uh, guacamole and salsa rojo. Salsa. Okay. And quesadilla. Ooh. Very, very full. Chipotle used to be my favorite food to eat. Now my favorite food. Whatever's back there. Muy delicioso. All right, pond. I'm gonna catch one more fish out of you and complete my first ever MTP Catch Co Slam. That fish, that's a fish! What, no! Dang it! I didn't even pay, I wasn't paying attention. That was a giant. I thought it was a stick. Man. Well, that last fish came from uh, this movie water right here, which is obviously a good spot when uh, it's extremely warm out. I honestly thought it was a stick because it felt really heavy and then it started moving. It was either a two to three pound bass or two to three pound tilapia. I'm not sure which one exactly. Ay ay ay. Dang man. That fish was literally a fish of a lifetime for this pond. Sucks losing it. That's a fish! Oh it's a big one! Oh my gosh, a good fish! Oh it's number three! Land up! Land up! Oh, that water in my mouth. Woo! That completes the MTB Catch Coast Lamb. There we go. I'll take it. Not a giant, but definitely a good fish for this pond. 
Still got water in my mouth. Let's let you go. Oh. Catch go box complete. Now I just got uh, like 18 more boxes I gotta do. So let me show you guys how you can order MTB's new Catch Co. boxes. You can go to mysterytacklebox.com slash pick. And that should come right up, right there. Click on it. And it's going to list everything you can potentially, all the new boxes you can get. They're coming out with new boxes every single month. Uh, this one's new right here, this fall prep. You can see a list of baits that are included in it. You can go down, I think there's about 20 plus. 20 to 22 I think. Late summer, panfish power pack, JDM, well this one's sold out. JDM baits are very popular. Rivers and stream, legend offshore. And if you click on it, let's see what comes up. It will probably give you a list of baits right here. It'll show you how much you're saving off the total package. Um, it'll give you a list of all these baits. Strike King 8XD in this bait. A Magnum Spoon mop jig, good stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it for the catch co. So while I'm plugging away, let's go ahead and go to Mystery Tackle Box's YouTube channel really quick. And I want to show you something. If you like fishing, if you like comedy, and if you like John B. and Alex Perrick, you're probably going to like what's on their channel right here. Go ahead and hop on real quick. If you go to their videos, they're releasing a series of one to two minute commercial type things. It's not actually, they're more like skits. Let's say they're skits. Really funny. This one's flipping a pitching featuring. KVD, John B, and Alex Perrick. This one's setting up a rig, fixing a bird's nest, organizing tackle. I've watched all of them. They're pretty hilarious. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen them. If you haven't, be sure to check them out. I guarantee you'll get a good laugh or two out of them.